We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus. It is so good to be with you on another day that God has given us by His grace. It is another day to live on. It is another day to go for God with all of our hearts. We serve a God who is good. He is merciful. He is slow to anger and abounding in love. And He loves you with an everlasting love. You can trust in God and He will see you through. My dear friend, today I want to speak to you. And the title of my message is The Start of of a new season because I truly believe from this point onwards in many people's lives God is doing something new so let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit wherever you are in your own words in the place where you're watching welcome the Holy Spirit in that place precious Holy Spirit of God we welcome you come Lord Holy Spirit and take over control and help us to pray help us to press in and help us to receive from the Father today. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, there is a season and there is a time for everything. And for those who follow God, God orders their footsteps. The steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. So there is a season And there is a time that God has set out for everything in your life. And there are times when God would do something new, something that you've been praying for. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 43 from verse 18 to verse 19. And I love this scripture because it echoes what I'm trying to get across to you. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. My dear friend, there are a few things that we need to take note of over here. And the first one is, when we are walking into a new season, we ought to forget or leave behind the past. The hurt and pain, the betrayals, The unforgiveness, we forgive, we let go of all offense, we let go of all hurt and pain, we let go of all the things of the past and choose not to look back. Now it goes on and says, nor consider the things of old. Many people look back and say, when I was young, we had such mighty breakthroughs and such mighty victories. Some even say, A few years ago, God did something great. It's now time to look forward to the new things that He's going to do. It goes on and says, Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? Let's stop there. When God is about to do something new in your life, you will perceive it. You will discern it. The Holy Spirit will lead you. He will speak to you concerning this season. Perhaps it's a shift to a new place. Perhaps... It's something that God wants to do. Perhaps it's a new door that has opened and you're just about to walk in it. Perhaps it's new people that have come around you. But all in all, it's the fact that God is going to do something new. It says, I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Now, I love this last part because when you're walking into a new season and new things are happening, it will sometimes require you to step out of your comfort zone. Because doing something new will bring a sense of fear sometimes. It will bring a sense of uncertainty sometimes. You won't know what is going on. But I love the fact that it says over here, I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. So we can be rest assured that as we walk into a new season with God's leading, God will open up the way for you. He will make a way where there seems to be no way. You will find that things work out even as you follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. He is speaking to us even today. And if you would choose that you would follow Him, you would truly be blessed. Today, as we pray, believe and trust God that even in this new season that is coming, that He will protect you, that He will supply all your needs, and He will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. 
In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. We're going to begin by praising and thanking God. And as we discern His presence, then we'll begin to pray. And I know God is going to do something. So in saying that, let us begin. Father, we praise you and we thank you. Thank you for another day that you've given us, a wonderful day to live to the fullest, a wonderful day to press in. It is another opportunity that we have to walk in your presence and to walk in your power. Thank you for all that you do for us, your children, as we put our trust and our hope in you. You are a good God. You speak and you live, and you truly make a way for us. You make a way for us where there seems to be no way. You make a way for us in the wilderness. You make a way for us so that we may go forward and succeed. And we choose to put our trust in you even today. You have made a way for us through Christ Jesus our Lord that we could be reconciled back to you. And we choose to trust in you at all times, knowing that you are the God who speaks and you live. And you don't leave your children helpless. Even today we know you are blessing us and you are changing our lives. You are taking us to a greater glory and a greater level. By your grace, by your mercy, we are going to make it through. By your grace, by your mercy, we are going to go up and not down. By your grace and by your mercy, our lives will never be the same again. We give you praise and we thank you for this. In Jesus' name, amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence. And I know, I trust, I believe, even as we pray, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, let us begin. As I begin to pray for you, connect in faith, comment and agree, and receive your miracle. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Even in this time period, bless my dear friend mightily. Open up doors of blessing. And as we walk into new doors, sometimes we are not comfortable because we have to step out of our comfort zone. It's something new that is happening. Open up doors of blessing for my dear friend and surround my dear friend with your goodness and your mercy. You are a good God. You are a gracious God. You speak and you live and you make a way. Make a way in the wilderness and open rivers in the desert. Do the impossible in my dear friend's life. Do what is deemed impossible. Make it possible. Do what only you can do spiritual breakthrough, divine intervention, and even today, let my dear friend receive a mighty miracle. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, you are blessed and you cannot be cursed. You are blessed to enjoy a new season. May God bless you and grace you for this season. May God anoint you to go to greater glories and greater levels. And may you taste and see that there is a God, He speaks and He lives. May you taste and see of the goodness of God in the land of the living. And may God be with you always, in Jesus' name. Until next time, from myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, God bless you and goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.